Hold it right there. Today's episode, we are going to talk about the FTR release and the good and the bad of it. All right, let's roll. All right, guys, so we're going to dig into this right here. This is the, f- the little bits and pieces of the, what we saw this morning. Um, waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning for something that was supposed to be hyped up over the last few days. That was the biggest, biggest fail for me on today. Like, it was one of those, stop hyping stuff up when nothing's going to be there. Oh, no, we changed the colors on the FTR. And that's the way it felt until the second video dropped. But before I get into that... This is some footage of me riding the 2019 race replica, and we're going to cut into the other footage here in just a moment. But one thing I do got to give credit for is Indian is flat out. Like, people called him out on it, and they responded. They're like, this was a a small thing. This was a tease. But next week is not going to be a... Is, it's going to be something different. Oh, they, check out the screen. This was their message. Uh, I got to give a shout out to my Ricky, my boy Ricky, not so Martin, and uh, for sending this to our group chat in the Indiana Motorcycle World. He caught this. Um, I guess it was going around that they were responding to people in this exact way. So they're hyping up the next one even more. That's what's got me curious. What? is something about heritage reimagined we've got our thoughts we've got our opinions i want to hear what yours are down below but i do know i was talking to a bunch of guys and gals across the indian motorcycle world and this morning was not not a uh, joyous occasion i will say that to the very least it was totally like a why did i wake up this early for this but we got up um, supported Indian Rider Radio, and then Indian a little while later dropped this, and I'm going to let you guys hear some of it, but totally different person. In 2019, Indian Motorcycle redefined American V-Twins with the FTR 1200. Now, Indian Motorcycle is taking the FTR platform to a whole new level with a host of enhancements to the 2022 lineup. It's one thing to sit and listen to how a bike was reimagined or changed and enhanced, whatever involved, whatever they want to call it. It's another thing to watch it how they did this video. You got a smaller wheel, which sounds weird in this you know day and age, but gives a beefier look. You got a street tire, different rake. You're changing stuff, and they're listening to the riders and to the demo events, everything going on, and people riding these bikes. They're actually taking the time to listen to. The people want that want to buy this bike, you know. And a lot of people wanted it a little bit lower. Uh, you've got the different Olin front shocks. You got this rear shock. All these things are changing. I know Bison Thunder had um, lowered a couple of these bikes, but you know the fact that they did it a little bit from the factory. It's a little bit better. Look at the handlebars right here. I really think this was something that was overlooked today and not talked about across the board, and it's. Especially if you're in California and places like this where you're lane splitting, that's a huge deal. Uh, the fact that they are fixing the throttle mapping that had to be done from other places, the rear cylinder deactivation on a bike like this, they're thinking about all kinds of different things that a lot of us, I don't think, have really thought about. Yeah, there's plenty of accessories, like right here. I mean, this exhaust, don't get me wrong, it's cool, it sounds a little bit better, but I don't care about the exhaust. I'm going to be the person who changes the exhaust. Um, same thing with these tank covers. They're really, really cool, but they are tank covers. The display to me is the best thing. One of the reasons I wouldn't want to go base model. Um, but I think that the FTR now has a, a beefier look to it. Um, if you're wanting that street bike look, which is mainly what this bike is being used for. Okay, guys. So I'm switched over to the Indian Motorcycle website. And... You can see I'm filming and doing all my stuff. Uh, not sure how much of that's going to get cut down. But what I want to talk about, like I said, the Indian FTR does look a lot beefier, um, which I think is a really cool look for the street vert, like the way this looks street. I do like the rally. Look, like right here, we have the Indian FTR starting at 12.99. 
this is a huge thing um, everybody talked about price now granted this is the base model but most people are going to change the exhaust um, the tack is the tack and if you want the you know fancy stuff then you're gonna have to go up you know and then that's where we have the FTRS starting at 14.99 that's where you gotta decide if maybe you want this exhaust maybe you want the different tack which for me I would want the different tack I really if you're gonna have the motorcycle have something different plus it it's one of the only motorcycles that Indian has with a different screen on it and I think that's a, a big factor so you had the 1499 FTRS with a couple different options paint wise. We saw the white with the black. Um, absolutely a gorgeous look in my opinion. Uh, this one's cool, but I'm more a fan of the, the other versions. We'll get into that in a second. We have the FTR Rally, still one of my favorites. And this one right here is only coming in at 1399. I love the wheels on here. If you still want that like off-road look if you check out riding fish he has a FTR now that he's got some knobby tires on which look really good now we get to the new FTR carbon and it's hard saying new but it is they've changed some things the carbon is fantastic it looks really really good uh, it's coming at 1699 you know you've got the the gold Olin's the Olin shock here in the rear I mean that's it's a really good looking motorcycle and from what I've noticed this is the only one that now has the cow and all the other ones got rid of it I know like star bobber doesn't didn't care for it and she wanted hers gone I'm a huge fan of the cow is one of the things that I loved about the bobber you know this is just a it's a, a gorgeous motorcycle you know that carbon and then that checkered pattern looks so good with there you know because it was the uh, the race winning bike type deal you just got to take a moment to soak all that in. It's a good looking bike. Um, I really liked the all carbon when they first did the, the carbon. And um, I don't think these all, all these bikes needed their own like moment in the sun. But, you know, with the, the rally, uh, I'm hoping there's some more stuff. There's new accessories for this bike. And well, just in general uh, for luggage, going the extra mile, stuff like that. Uh, these are just fantastic uh, that I love that look right there but once again this is just a cover so one really cool thing with the FTR is you're not having to go way out of your way to change up the look of your bike you can get some blanks out of these I'm not saying they're cheap but it's a lot different than going out and doing a full paint job you know these are just like three pieces on this bike technically that change the color of it I think this looks really good. It still has the old school look to it. I like the um, maybe some beefier options. I would change it, but you guys have already seen on my bikes. I changed pretty much anything that I can. Here's that touring pack I was talking about right there. So as you can see, this bike has the pack here. You've got the saddle bag there and the uh, tank bag. And then also this one's got the visor, the phone holder, all the little accessories. Let's see if we can click on all the accessories. See all these different tanks? These ones are really cool. I've seen these out in the wild. Um, cruising up PCH, I got to see some of these. You know, you've got the tank bag here coming at $279. Um, I mean, it's going to be quality, so that's not a terrible price. I've gotten cheaper with different ones, especially magnetic ones, but that's a little bit different when you got the FTR. It's not all like this big metal gas tank like we're used to. You got the rear rack bag, which is really cool. Um, the high mount exhaust is something you could change. I would go totally different with my exhaust. You know, Star Bobber style with hers, you know, S&S. There's so many different routes you can go with these bikes now. They're adding a lot of accessories from the factory, which I think is really cool. Uh, overall, you know, I'd give them a win on this. Uh, the hype train was a little much for me, you know, but... Uh, good looking bike um, I think they did a lot of good things with it and the fact that they've come down on the price you know they've got the street style tires on it those Metzlers look really good they look beefy this is makes this bike look meaner and there's not enough things I can say about that um, after riding it you know I just uh, I can't wait to ride this one I want to really check out that difference in height as you guys know I'm only 5'7 with the about 29 inch to 30 inch inseam and it was too tall for me it, I rode it 
a tippy toe the, like crazy um, but you know you get some on level payment something not in your favor and you're gonna you know not be <laughs> in a good a good spot so all right guys that is my news for the FTR I can't wait to see what's coming out next week and I can't wait to talk to you guys about it in the comments let me know what your favorite color or setup for the new FTR are you a Navi person are you loving the new street tires are you just loving the new overall look or are you just loving the overall new price um, don't forget there's gonna be the older models still out there that maybe somebody didn't pick up that I've heard are dropping in prices fairly well if you are not one that needs all the new stuff but want an FTR alright guys like always stay safe and stay classy Real quick before I fully sign out, I forgot to mention they're talking that these are the 2022 models. My question is, did Indian change their release times as well? Because they're talking about these coming to dealers in the spring. Only time will tell. We'll find out. I'm